What's up everyone? Thanks for joining the YouTube channel today. Today we have a 2000 property, so it's 21 years old. It is bigger. It is 4,000-ish square feet, but this one's nice because it has stucco, adhered stone veneer, uh, adhered stone veneer, adhered veneer stone, adhered stone veneer, ASV. <laughs> Anyways, um, so there could be some good finds or something good to look at on this property. Um, due in the fact, due to the fact that it's uh, 21 years old, some of the major equipment starts to go out around that point in time. So we'll check it out from there. Uh, keep an eye out for the newest videos coming up. I just got reached out by Tool Experts, and they are sending me some tools to review, which I am super excited about. I've always wanted to try to dive in to create new content over tools and I get they're sending me like a Barrett camera which is pretty neat and then some shorts that you're supposed to put over your pants whenever you walk on the roofs in case you fall down so pretty exciting stuff coming up but anyways uh, let's go check out this property okay I guess we get to stay outside again today we got a full party in there buyer's agent, broker, seller, and the cleaning lady all inside today. So I'm gonna hang out outside and let's just focus on stucco and a heared stone veneer or here veneered stone, man. A heared stone veneer, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're gonna focus on that on the outside and just with the home being 20 years old, it's automatically not gonna be up to code or standards you know we've made a lot of improvements in Houston when it comes to installing stucco over the few years and there's been a lot of mistakes made so with it being wrong we just got to determine how bad it is and then point the client in the right direction of what we find and if further action needs to be taken or things or an intrusive test that needs to be done okay so when assessing stucco you always want to do a far back look and then an up close look too as well. So let me show you an example here. So right here, up close, you know, the the paint looks good, stucco looks okay. The heared stone veneer is uh, applied. You know, it's not falling out of place or loose. All right, so let's walk further back here. And the lighting changes. And I don't know if you can see it in the video. I'm gonna do my best to show you here, but you can see the color, like an efflorescence type color, popping out underneath this light fixture. So that's already one area of concern. So whenever I see that, I like to get closer here. And you can see the stucco has been painted recently. And what you do typically is you're going to come down and reach underneath. But I can't because there's no weep screed on the, um, the heared stone veneer. So you gotta think. So water possibly got behind this light fixture at one point in time, got behind, maybe damaged the wood. I'm, all, I'm saying maybe, because I can't tell. We're not drilling today. And there was nowhere for the water to protrude. Okay, the next step when observing stucco, you're gonna wanna look around the windows. Obviously the easiest point for water penetration to get in. And, uh, um, one of the most common mistakes is they caulk the top of the windows. You actually don't want to do that because you, if moisture is to get behind or get into the windows, you want an easy path for the water to get out. So we're going to write that up. But where you find most of the damage is actually right around here on the EPS bands. And you can see already the rust forming in these areas. And you have a, like a lot of efflorescence appearing on the stucco and maybe even some bulging so this is another area that if i started seeing it that i would re be recommending for intrusive testing okay so with those two areas we do have some evidence of possible water penetration also it could be the sprinklers are spraying on the wall too as well and if you do have stucco you always want to make sure the sprinklers are spraying away and not directly on the walls because it will damage and rust out the stucco over a period of time. So we already are leaning into the point to where yes we are finding things wrong with the stucco and as a visual inspection we're limited to what we can see behind the walls and if the house is freshly painted inside which a lot of people do whenever they go to sell um, you can't determine if any water penetration has made it through. 
So the next step is an intrusive test and that's where we drill into the wall. And I have one of my previous videos in the past. I can try to put it right here. And uh, um, that video, I go over how an intrusive stucco is done with my dad. So we got another spot here where we have three separate windows with the heared stone veneer uh, butting up to this kind of wood paneling uh, on the wall here. And you can see that we're kind of missing some caulking in the area, but where I'm actually missing the most sealant is in between the window. Let me see if I can get a better shot. Yeah, right here. So you can see in here that there's no sealant. And then also over here, there is no weep screed either. So I can't determine, oh, here we go. Look, you also have some split rust on the EPS band. You have some efflorescence here. So I'm already, I'm starting to assume that we do have some water penetration here. And the only way to determine 100% is if we were able to do an intrusive test right about here underneath the window in between the stone, right here underneath the middle of the window, and then right here on the right side. The reason why I would hit this window three times is because we want to see how far the rot has gone. And then we obviously have three signs of water penetration around these windows. So if you were doing an intrusive test, we would end up testing all three windows and recording data three separate times almost on every single window. So it, it starts to get pretty intrusive pretty quick if we're starting to find a lot of water penetration and rot on the walls. So we're on another side of the property here and I kind of want to show you a window that's not 100% correct, but um, there's no real evidence of any type of rust, any type of efflorescence. There is no weep screed, but also you got to take into consideration, I don't see any moisture in this garage. It's not freshly painted. I don't see any moisture around the window on the inside or moisture on the ground level in the garage either. So, you know, if I saw this with no um, weep screed on the bottom, I wouldn't assume that the, the wall's bad. I would just say, hey, you know, this is older, it's not done 100% correct, but it's performing and it's been performing for 21 years. So right here you can see an improvement made to the stucco where they added in kick out flashing at one point in time. You can see where they busted out the stucco and they've done some repair, added in the kick out flashing. So we know they've done some sort of prior repair in the past and we'd actually add that into our documentation to inform the client, be like, hey, maybe there's some sort of warranty involved with this uh, stucco where work has been performed in the past. So another thing you wanna keep in mind with stucco and the heared stone veneer is um, how water travels across the roof line, right? So you can see how the, the water travels off here, comes down the valley, runs along the roof line here, and you wanna pay even closer attention to this area where you may have uh, some water penetration so getting a little closer you can see that this is freshly painted not really seeing much but keep an eye out over here and then you see some flashing oh let's see if the lighting you can see some flashing sticking out in this location so it looks like it's probably properly flashed and if i was doing an, an intrusive test on this if I was doing an intrusive test on the stucco, I would actually just uh, do a little drill spot right here just to see if I had any water penetration in this area. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, it looks pretty clean, um, but it just an, it's an area that you want to keep in mind whenever you're looking at stucco. Think about the big picture and how the water is traveling across your property. All right, uh, next side here, we have uh, the stucco where you have two different levels and when the stucco overhangs like this, you should technically have a weep screed here. So if water makes it behind the stucco for any point in time, so say, say it makes it around this mechanical exhaust vent, it could have a path to drain. Uh, it does not have that. So does it, does it mean it's leaking or it's damaged? No, but it, it's something that you have to report on as a stucco inspector. 
and if I was doing an intrusive test, I would hit right underneath this vent here just to see if it has caused any damage in the past, um, or over the time anyways. Uh, but right here, you can start to see that we have a uh, horizontal crack, and there may be possible bulging in this area. But also, when I say possible bulging, you can see that it's been patched in the past. So we'd write previous work done, you know, we have cracking, and this is an area where we can ask the seller what previous work they have done and any documentation they can provide or any warranty service that may be included too as well. Just take a quick break real quick. Can you please take the time to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll, anything that you saw that I didn't call out, please drop in the comments section. This is the best way to learn about inspections is right here. Or, or if this video helped you out, please say it helped you out too as well. All right, let's uh, continue the inspection. Okay, moving on to the back side of the property. So right here we have a um, another window and then you can start to see some discoloration around these points in the window. Obviously we're on the base floor, but if you were a intrusive stucco inspector, you'd be opening up this window and hitting this spot right here, drilling or hitting, what I mean by hitting is drilling the spot here to see if we can get any moisture readings. You wanna keep an eye out for this efflorescence. This is a sign that you do have moisture getting in behind the stucco. If you're doing a regular home inspection, the only thing you can do is write it that there's efflorescence present on the stucco and it's recommended to do an intrusive test. Okay, uh, last thing here, the balcony. You can obviously see uh, that this balcony has been worked on in the past. How can I tell that? Well, it's 21 years old and they didn't do real kick out flashing too much 20 years ago on the kick out uh, on properties like this. But you can also look at the neighbor's house. The neighbor doesn't have any kick out flashing and they do pretty much normally the same builder. Yes, I am just assuming, but um, you can see that this flashing is newer to the structure. Then also this pan flashing on the stucco is new as well. You can also see some patching around the uh, kick out saying that there's been some sort of moisture penetration and they have added a weep screed at one point in time. So just because there's been work done, you want to document all of this so they understand whenever they're purchasing the property that the stucco has had problems in the past and the seller did do work. They just need to determine if there's any warranty. Hopefully there is. Maybe there's a warranty involved that they kept up with on uh, this balcony. because you can see the neighbor's house and uh, that there is no kick out flashing over there, right? And then you can see right here, there's a significant amount of rot around their balcony, which this client in the past, or the seller on the past of this property right here, probably had the same issue going on. They probably had water intrusion around their balcony and rust, which is one of the most common places to find water penetration on stucco. There you go. Talking about finding something weird inspecting. I hope this shows up really well in the video. This is the other neighbor's house where let's look right here. So you got no kick out flashing and you can get the, the damaged stucco and the runoff. So you have to assume that there's a lot of water uh, making it in this pillar here. And then as you look at the stucco, this beam right here is sagging and there's a lot of efflorescence on the stucco with no weep screen. So you just have to assume there that this balcony is leaking causing a significant amount of rot to where you probably have some sort of structural issue and then if you look right here you have a lot of efflorescence running down the wall here easy spot to determine that there is uh, the stucco's having issues okay i'm gonna wrap this video up there thank you for watching it if you made it all the way in uh, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button uh, final review here uh, if this was on our inspection, what we're end up going to be writing up is to have this inspection, these the stucco further evaluated. We're going to recommend for an intrusive test. Does the client have to do it? No. Does the seller have to do anything? No. But it's still our opinion uh, to have it further evaluated so they can get an intrusive test to determine if there's any rot behind the stucco, behind where we're seeing the water penetration. And the stucco is very expensive to repair and you always want to have it further evaluated if you see those type of issues show up 
or any of those external issues because it could be pretty bad to find. And then they can refer it to a stucco contractor so they can get a bill of how much it could cost to fix and they can use it to negotiate. Yes, it adds a lot of steps into the buying process, but it helps protect the client down the line or they really know what they're getting into when they purchase it. So that's it. That's Chris with A-Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call and uh, hit it, leave a comment below. All right, thanks guys, bye.